Alrighty, fellas. How you doing? It is a nice evening here, uh, Tuesday, and gonna have my box opening here from my buddy Dave. Once again, well packaged. And just jumped out of the shower. So I've got And it is well packaged. Dave doesn't trust the post office to handle with care, I guess. So, inside the bag is a box. And let's see what's in the box. It's a rather good sized box for just a couple of items. So I don't know. Let's see. Oh, a macro. All right. Well, he decided not to send little things. He sends whole exact whole tubs. So two whole tubs of stuff. So I've got some CBL roasted oatmeal stout. Yeah, it does smell rather good, and I know I like the CBL soap base, so that's a guaranteed winner. Oh, he did send some samples, huh? And then I've got some hout leather from Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations. I checked out some of her soaps when the soap sample passed around. This one's a leather forward scent, pretty good. Yeah, I have... Uh, have some uh, holy cow project leather already so he hit that one on the head uh, king of bourbon holy cow yeah that's a good one getting a little bit creepy there Dave you're starting to, to pick up on too much here paying too close of attention declaration grooming tres mesigitis mesigitis god how do you pronounce it I don't know it starts with a T, but yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, Dark Fall. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I will not be using any of my soaps for quite a while if I go through all these samples. Just the samples. And this is Cherry Blossom Bamboo. Smells pretty skippy. CBL. And uh, CBL Dragon Blood. Now this one here, I'm going to give you a... Mm, I don't know there, Dave. Uh, the only thing, I don't know whether I put it out there or not, but uh, I will now for all you guys. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up the patchouli. And, uh, ooh, yeah, patchouli. Me and patchouli aren't on the first name friend basis and all. Not really sure why. Just uh, that's one of them scents that seems to be in a lot of soaps. And a lot of people seem to really like it. But uh, to my nose, eh, I don't know. Maybe it makes me think of hippies or something like that. Hairy legs. Maybe. I don't know. So now the other package that I have is from Canada. And... Uh, some of you may have guessed now maybe what it could be from, but uh, I went ahead from uh, AP Shaving and I ordered a tuxedo knot, just a knot itself, to try my hand at making a, uh, a handle over with my dad over in his wood shop. And then I ordered a cashmere brush in their uh, ready to go handle that it, uh, it just screws apart that's a pretty skippy kind of setup but uh ooh, that is soft ooh, ooh, yeah like a baby's breath on your cheek my goodness that does feel really nice i'm probably gonna like that one a lot so guess what's up for tomorrow night's shave 
because I've already lathered up some with my trusty boar brush. So, and AP sent me a little thing, a little thank you note in there with it. And uh, Dave, mooch has grassy ass, as they say in Old Mexico, for the samples and the two full-size tubs. And now here I've already signed up for the uh, second anniversary thing. That's going to have more soap in it. Sweet Jesus. You know, I'm going to have, I'm going to need to uh, start eating better and being healthier and all to use up all this soap that I've got right now. So. Enough with the uh, formalities of opening packages, which is, it's Christmas in March. This is one of my go-to soaps. This is Sella, a kilogram block. So for those of you that want to live through, oh, I don't know, a nuclear apocalypse and never run out of soap, you could get one of these bricks of Sella and by the time you're done using it, uh, the nuclear half-life will have gone down and you could go outside of your bunker and be pretty good to go, probably. I got a block a couple years ago and I'm probably only halfway through it and I gave away a good bit of it. But of course, I've got the acquisition disorder and a fair amount of soaps. And then now since getting on here, and crossing paths with Dave's, then it's gonna be, Christ, I don't know whether I will see the bottom of a tub except for them little samples. But uh, that's a good thing, not, not complaining. All right, so up for tonight's shave is one of my favorites. This is one of my Philharmonica's older one. It's not stamped made in Spain on the back, so it's an early one. I still think they call this a second generation. Uh, I don't know. All I know is these are awesome razors, and I love all the 14s that I have, including the Karat. But uh, there's just something about them. They appeal to me, and I enjoy them. So if I had to get rid of every razor but one, I would be hard-pressed to have it not be one of these. So... Hope all your guys' days went well. And if you haven't already seen it, I got Dave's package heading back his way with a surprise or two. And a packing number, the, uh, the tracking number is. Post it up on my journal for all of you to play along if you choose. So, follow the bouncing package. And you're all going to know when it gets there. So then you can all pester about how come his shade videos aren't with a straight. Instead of a double edge. And I'm super curious to see what he thinks of his surprises and also what his opinion of my honing job is because even though I'm sarcastic and I joke around, it's a much different operation honing for myself versus honing for somebody else because it's number one their stuff and I don't want to mess it up and number two I always try to uh, usually uh, oh, there we go, go back again uh, usually under promise and over deliver but in this case my, uh, my sarcasm and all might have people
thinking I have some sort of inflated ego about my abilities when I don't. So, hmm. too much talking and not enough paying attention. Once again, nick myself. Chin, chin area is always and tough gray whiskers. So the missus came up with an idea for dinner tonight. Uh, she wanted me to make chicken breast with uh, like stuffed chicken breast. with Romano cheese and mozzarella cheese, and spinach and tomato, God dang it. and uh, cream cheese. I don't know. It's not meat and potatoes cooking like I usually do, but she wanted it, so I went out and got the fixings. Made it up for it, turned out alright. And uh, she had a, she had uh, Brussels sprouts, which, man, I'm not gonna get me to eat Brussels sprouts. <coughs> Lest I lose a bed or something. So I made mashed potatoes and carrots for my piece of, piece of uh, chicken. So full belly, now getting nice and clean. Clean shaven world is always a better place, right? So, County still hasn't shut down yet. My neighbor that got foreclosed on, they've been over there. Or not foreclosed on, but evicted. They were renting. They came in. They've been coming in. They got new carpet in there. And then doing a little bit of fixer up stuff and all that stuff. So, and once again, here in Maryland, we're getting rain, which we need more rain, like we need higher taxes, but it's coming anyway. And down in Annapolis, our capital, they're trying to raise taxes too. Now, on service industry people. Uh, and a whole bunch of people showed up to protest the proposed new taxes, but our legislature can overrule our Republican governor. And the legislature has been controlled by a single party for I don't know. I think pretty much all the time I've been alive, so 50 years. And they can pretty much do whatever they want, and what they want is more of our money. Lord knows they know how to spend it better than I do. You know. Oh my. So we're coming. 
coming up on, we got St. Patty's Day, which me being high, half Irish, I guess I'm supposed to really be into, but eh, I don't know. Never really been into it. My mom would always make corned beef and cabbage and, uh, and that kind of stuff, but never been up to like New York or anything like that for the parade or none of that stuff. A friend of mine growing up used to call it a, an amateur drunk day, like New Year's Eve and Mardi Gras and all that stuff. All the all the pretend drinkers go out and have to overdo it. So, uh, and I don't really drink a whole lot. Every once in a blue moon. But up in Bel Air, the local county seat, about 10 minutes away from me, they'll close down the street and and uh, there's half a dozen bars up there and it'll be a whole bunch of yahoos out wandering around falling down puking and that kind of crap Once again, Sella, love it, can't go wrong. Just the all around solid soap. Might not be the, the, uh, the best soap, but just consistent. Like Tayback and a lot of the stalwarts. So. <coughs> Man, you can hear the crow. Cold is trying to hang on. So. But it's on. On the way out. So. Okay. I think that's pretty much has got it. So. Hope you all liked it. Dave, tomorrow's shave will be one of these soaps. I don't know which yet. And uh, it'll be my my fancy new super soft cashmere brush. I would have to say it does feel like the softest. Now, it might not be the best for whipping up like from a hard soap because it does probably out of everything that I've got, it's got probably going to have the least amount of backbone. So that's why I got the tuxedo, which feels... Pretty soft, but it seems to be a little bit more firm. They're really dense knots. They're nice. And the price really isn't that bad. So I was, uh, I'm intrigued to say the least. Looking forward to trying them out in the soap. So I hope you all have a good rest of the night. And uh, when I get downstairs and load this up, I'll be... Uh, I'll be getting online and seeing how the rest of you guys are doing and trying to catch up with everything. Didn't get a whole lot of chance today to get online, being busy and going shopping and all. So have a good one. Talk to you later.